Hovajdom në Korbana Kerga të në përbi jallëf në vorë në të nërë në shokë. Good evening everybody and you're very welcome to Delvin this evening. On behalf of Delvin Tidy Towns Committee, Delvin Historical Society and the Ginell, Ginell family, I would like to welcome everyone and the Argentinian ambassador to Ireland who was with us, which is a great occasion. I am delighted to be here today, not just to celebrate uh, with you all, but also the final year of the Decade of Centenaries. What a fitting way to end this commemorative period. Ian Canellan and Paul Hughes have been the historians in residence since 2020, with Ian in place since 2023. The magnitude of their work has been immense. Throughout their time, they have created numerous events, educational and historical, with content that engaged our community. All the while being supported by Westmead County Council, I know um, Melanie is here to the fore, um, and Melanie is our Heritage Officer in Westmead County Council, and the work that she does is Trojan for everybody. Um, ably assisted by uh, the Library as well, and generously funded by the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Wales Talk, Sports and Media. You're all very welcome to this plaque unveiling and centenary reflection, marking 100 years since the death of Lawrence Ginnell, who, of course, rests a couple of miles away from here in Clonarney Cemetery. I want to particularly welcome the Ginnell family, among them some of Lawrence Ginnell's grandnephews, grandnieces and great grandnephews and great grandnieces uh, from both Mullingar and Dublin. Lawrence Ginnell was a man of many parts, a scholar, barrister, author, orator, parliamentarian, political organiser, propagandist, agrarian radical and diplomat. These were some of the categories he fell into over uh, his long career, which ended 100 years ago last month with his death in Washington, D.C. at the age of 71. Importantly for us here today, though, he was a Delvin man and a proud one at that. In 1909, Ginnell wrote an obituary for an old neighbour of his uh, for a local newspaper. He was from down the road here in Cronstown. In the obituary, Ginnell wrote that in the 19th century, Delvin Parish produced some remarkable men each of whom deserved a permanent memoir whenever Ireland begins to cherish the memory of her sons as she ought. Lawrence Cannell was a lot of things, vocal, eccentric, sincere to the point of being extreme in the eyes of some people. But he was certainly humble, and when writing these words, little did he expect that he would one day rank among those 19th century Delvin folk who achieved notoriety here and beyond. The plaque behind me here was generously funded under the Ireland 2016 programme and made by Gibney Monumental Works in Mullingar. And it is the very least that Ginnell's extraordinary career deserves in terms of a memorial. On behalf of the Lawrence Ginnell Commemorative Committee, which I might add is chaired by uh, Ginnell's great grandniece, Aideen, uh, we would like to extend our gratitude to a number of people. First of all, I want to thank uh, two people uh, who were involved in that committee from the very start and uh, that's Eamon and Bernie Clancy from Delvin Historical Society. And Eamon, Eamon and Bernie have been pushing this from, from the beginning and uh, hoping to get a, a permanent site for it, to get it over the line. Uh, we, the committee, are grateful to uh, councillors Frank McDermott and Paddy Hill and to deputies Padder Tobin and Robert Troy for their representations and their interest. Huge credit goes to Delvin Tidy Towns and its chairman, Mick Kenny, for getting the location and installation of the plaque ready uh, in time and having the courtyard ready for today's event. The hard work of the Tidy Towns Committee, allied to the support of Westmead County Council, has prepared us well for today, and I'm particularly grateful to Melanie McQuaid, our Heritage Officer, and Paula Dornan the, uh, from Westmead Libraries for their support. Many thanks also to our wonderful piper, Sean Kelly. I don't know where Sean is, uh, but there he is. Hi, Sean. I want to thank our special guest, uh, Her Excellency Miss uh, Anna Laura Cachaza, for coming here today at, at short notice, three days I might add, after uh, presenting her credentials to President Higgins. Uh, your presence, Ambassador, underlines the historic uh, connections between this county uh, of Westmead and Argentina and brings home to us again Lawrence Cannell's status as one of the truly global figures of the Irish Revolution. In recalling his own memories of Ganel's diplomatic mission to Argentina, 
Patrick Little, who went on to serve as a government minister here during the Second World War, told the Bureau of Military History about his attendance at a lunch given by the Jockey Club in Buenos Aires in uh, 1921. And he said, Larry Ganell, he said, sat at the top of the table, looking like a statue carved in ivory. He certainly lent prestige to the Irish delegation. And with that said, I can add that you, Ambassador, certainly lend prestige to our commemoration today. I'd like to hand over to you. So ladies and gentlemen, Her Excellency, Miss Anna Laura Cachada. It is uh, an honor to be here today. Uh, as, as it has already been said, this is the first official activity uh, as an ambassador of the Argentine Republic in, in Ireland since I presented credentials to President Higgins only three days ago on Thursday. So, and it is a pleasure that this first activity has to do with being here, with commemorating the life of uh, Lawrence Guinell uh, as a son of, of this, this beautiful town uh, who played such an important role in the process of independence of, the, of Ireland. There is a, a, a very big Irish community in, in Argentina. It is a fi the fifth largest Irish community abroad and the largest in a non-English speaking country. That is one of the reasons why Lawrence Guinell was sent there uh, to, to, to Argentina because of this uh, great number of, of Irish nationals that were living in Argentina by the time. Now the, the community is, uh, is bigger because the descendants of these Irish that went there in the 19th century are, are a lot and their their uh, contribution to Argentina has, has been remarkable as well. So it's an honor for, for us to, to be here sharing this moment with you, with uh, the Guinell's family who, who, who is also here and to unveil this, this plaque with them uh, in honor of, of uh, Lawrence Guinell. Thank you very much.